Wow. Lovely. Mm. What a nice, I thought very nice good. tune. It almost sounds professional, doesn't it? It does. Did you make it? I didn't make it. Of course well, not. Well, there's a pseudonym, Mantis Looked in his eye, he just said it sounds professional, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it was by it's a band. Like, wow. Oh, yeah. right. By okay. a fan. Hayden no yeah. uh, sent in this finger and gave us gave me a very detailed like you could start from this point to this point if you oh, want to. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, this is from their EP. Oh, good. Mantis State. Uh, check him out. Into the Sun. On Spotify. Is the name of Into the EP. Into the Sun. Well, that's good. It did I sound think that's pretty cool. It did sound really good, actually. So I like the style of... Yeah, I like the style a lot. The use of, like... I'm going to say woodwind or brass in there. That's I don't a saxophone. Know. It's a saxophone. How did it make they you class, feel? They're brass, brass, aren't they? Not made of wood, are they? Well, they're not made of wood. But a, clar- <laughs> a, but a clarinet is awfully like a saxophone. And how that's how I get did it make you feel inside? Yeah. yeah, good. I really like that style of music. Yeah, I've been listening to a lot of that kind of thing recently. Bit of... Uh, Any emotions? Yeah. Very few. All right. Anger? Sanctuary resentment that it didn't sound like it had any references to Hatfield films in it blind rage <laughs> just I hope you verified that they've been a fan for rage. some time because otherwise we've just given some random bad free promo trot oh, oh no yeah I hope they're good yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. Hope the fucking musicians are just as lovely Fuck. you'll have to find that on Spotify yes yeah, but it does sound very good I did enjoy it well, yes. there's more of that at the me. end um I've got the rest of it. They sent that track in specifically. Yeah. So. How long is the track? Is it going to be longer than the podcast? No. So they sent you their rider as well. A Fifty-eight Trot? minute special. Yeah. One single track. This is the a saga. A segment from it, and it's just going to be played at the end. Uh, but yeah, we'll play the the rest at the end. So look out for that. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Uh, thank you. And also, big. Whoa, thanks. whoa, whoa, whoa! Sax is woodwind. It is. Yeah. Yes. I fucked up. I didn't Sax say it was. Brass? That's why I was confused. Sax is woodwind. Why, why does it count as woodwind? Because it's got a wooden reed. Wood reed yeah. Whilst the trumpet is brass because it uses a brass blower. Nah, the What's lippies. the egg called? Yeah, the reed is the li- lips, I suppose. That's true, yeah. Lippers. I think it should be called a flesh wind. Yeah. How, <laughs> yeah. how much would it cost for you to go to like a local band and suck all the reeds? Oh, God. <laughs> oh. So disgusting, Someone's man. just put £3,500 on a table. And they oh. said, this is tax-free cash. But what you've got to do is, and they, they take all the reeds out, place them all on the table and say, look, you have to suck on each of these. I think I might do it for three and a half grand. That's a new PC. Yeah. But you can see, okay. and the band are all stood there in front of you, and you've got to suck, suck their reeds. I think most of, I'd like to think that most people would do that for three and a half grand. Okay. I mean, obviously, like... Oh. Do you know what? That's actually semi-affordable. <laughs> we can actually make that happen. Well, let's make and that Smith's happen. birthday video is in a month or so. Oh, so. It's close to my bottom <laughs> limit, though. Like, I think for five grand, I'd be like, yes. For three and a half, I'm like... This oh, here we go. He's bit, changed the bar. But I think five. for three and a half, the I'd be like, this is changed. stupid to walk away from three and a half grand. As long as like none of them are like visibly ill. You know, like you one's know. got a cold sore, definitely. Oh, then you won't know. Sorry, I don't want herpes for three and a half grand. Thanks. But all the reads have been mixed for up five. in a bag. Um, what about then for a little bit more? Yeah, you have to get someone's clarinet, mm. turn it upside down, mm-hmm. and then lick the rim. Oh, what would be better than this? If you really want to give me a challenge, you know, oh, some okay. instruments have spit valves. Yeah, and just <laughs> drink the spit valve. <laughs> we'll make up. Oh, oh, what oh, we oh. just made a dirty pint oh. of spit valve <laughs> juice. <laughs> oh. Man. That's so gross. I mean, honestly, at this point, you're making like one of those cocktails of spit, aren't you? Yeah. That like, <laughs> so like gross. porn First stars all, yeah. get paid to drink. Yeah. What we'll do is, for, is I'm just becoming a porn to star. To keep the instrument <laughs> theme as well, well, what we'll do is before we do it, we'll get a rag, run it along a like an old piano, yeah, and then oh, rub yeah. and really clean the glass with it before we put the spit in there. So I say clean the glass. We'll be rubbing the piano with ju- a filthy rag, a filthy it, piano. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there'll be a, a used, very used It'll school piano. You've got to be careful what you do because, cleaned. like, honestly, in this business, there's a thin line between, you know, kink, doing something for money, <laughs> and being a porn star. All right, yeah. the very thin line. And well, I, a porn could be anything. Well, when Someone I was, could be jerking off to this. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have we so outed just, you? Just feet. I don't know. When I was growing up, just I was feet. like, I don't know whether I should aspire to be a porn star. Not least for you, because like you know you the length of erection. Wait, you said you to I said no, I don't think I should aspire to be a porn star. I think there were certain things well, when I was growing up. I was like, really I shouldn't don't sell it to you, do you. Shouldn't do that. I shouldn't use that as a viable career option. But well, don't treat it like a vertical ladder. Treat it more like a, a lateral shift. <laughs> but to going from influencer to porn star. Yeah, horizontal shift. Yeah. Rather it's, than like, a, it's more of a side by step, same wages, different responsibilities. You're going to go from being the guy that says stuff in the microphone to the guy with the microphone six inches in the back of his fucking throat. 
Don't say you haven't done it before. Oh, 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 I forgot. <laughs> he may as well. Yeah. May as well suck the, the spit back. Somebody give me three and a half grand. <laughs> <laughs> he just these mics are not, and that is the free. dirtiest mic as well out of all of them. Oh, it's that's, crumb, the, that's the one that's like being nibbled. It's crumbling on away from like <laughs> dust. <laughs> it's old. It's old. Ugh. Get the orchestra on the blower. We're doing this. Oh my god. But yeah. I might as well maximize it. Oh. Yeah, well, he's still riding that high. There is a lot of people who who say that they would happily be an opponent, but I feel like. I don't know, there's, it's, it's a tough Quantify job. Quantify a lot. What? A lot of people? Yeah. Oh, there's probably, there's, there's a lot of people that say they probably like, oh, I'd love someone. to be in a fucking portal where you get paid to I just want fuck. Names. It's like, yeah, but it's not going to be that, is it? There's going to be a load of dudes filming it and stuff. Yeah. And like, you know, let's say there's- They also retake. And they're just like, come on, mate. Let's get this done. You're like, up. fucking hell, like, what, what the hell? It's a, a brutal industry as well. Well, it uh, depends who you work for, obviously. If you're only fans are working for yourself, fair mm. enough. But if you're yeah, in, like, true. apparently if you're a, a guy and you can't ejaculate on time on command at a certain period of window yeah. like you're just That's wasting everyone's skill, time isn't it? yeah on command well you, a lot of people three two you one and cocking go. yesterday what cocking we put, cocking. we put up the, your, oh, your, really? your doppelganger yeah. mick blue on the stream and they were like that, yeah, was, yeah. Off that wasn't cocking. that yeah. wasn't ross that well, I wasn't. St I, that's the thing. I wasn't the cock. I was the face. <laughs> so I was just. Face. I was visibly there, but they got some other dudes giant going in. I was like, "Come on, I can we, try." We just got a hair. Give it a go. I mean, no, oh, this guy's got. A, he's on a hair trigger. Yeah, he's on a hair trigger. He's ready to go. <laughs> yeah, a soft. We've got a fan no in. And it's going to blow briefly on the side, and that's going to get him going. Don't even look at him. Yeah. No, it's uh, stunt cocking. No, I couldn't do it. No, I don't think I could. The intimidation factor of people watching. I don't think I. I think I could I can't do it. I don't really think I don't. I, don't I, think I would not standing want in a crowded <laughs> urinal. I don't think I could do it. Yeah. Like shoulder to shoulder. Like, oh fucking hell. See, this is the thing. Like I think I've, I've got this. I've got to this level in my, drunk I am. in my mindset. Yeah, but that's it. I've got this level in my mindset where it's like I'm sure I could do most things. It's just I wouldn't enjoy them. It, it, like you know, like pissing. I'll do it. Like I'll take a shit in front of people. Yeah, but sure, but it's like this is degrading me. I'd rather it's not. Probably feeling making you feel horrible. Like let's just but not do no this. But there's no hard no. But there's you. no hard no. Not anymore. No, because it's just like you're just shitting outside, aren't you? Like yeah. you're which just, is liberating. You're just, you're outside, just pissing in a crowded room. You're just yeah, stunt cocking. You, you have to. You have to let go. You have to just release. That's fine. But fucking in front of a bunch of cameramen is, yeah. is probably actually harder but I do to think do that than you there's think. There's a mindset. This is what's interesting, right? Is there's a mindset where you, Zen. Can, you can do most things, but the thing that stops you from, when you get to that point, the thing that stops you from doing it is, I think, like, for want of a better word, principle. In that, like, I know that I could just piss in front of you guys, waggle my dick around, and just be <laughs> like, look, guys, I'm pissing like a baby toddler. But. What does that say about me? You know, like, 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 what, what is that? It's just like, well, it's even the thought process. I know, about you. <laughs> but, it, but <laughs> exactly. So you're just like, I need to engage. Like, just because I can doesn't mean I should. I guess is what I'm getting at. All right, someone's and dropped 10k on the table. You got a wank in front of us and finish. Do you think you could? I don't I, know. I couldn't. I maybe. I, couldn't. I might have just stopped my antidepressants for a while. Um, yeah. But uh, <laughs> but like uh, yeah, no, I don't know. Possibly. <laughs> I don't want to though, guys. We shouldn't yeah. go down this road. Don't make me go down this road, <laughs> guys. Uh, guys <laughs> someone's someone's uh, coming with a briefcase. I told you not to go down this road. Briefcase. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm just saying. All right. We're not yeah. going to become porn stars. All right. Sorry, guys. That's not going to happen. We just Especially have to wait to our, our faces as they are. We can make some f sounds for money, I guess. Oh, we can Photoshop our heads. We can do AI porn, like where we yeah, have anyone our can do heads that on. Of us, I guess. Yeah. I know. Plenty of footage. That's good. It's only only a matter of time. They're doing it now, aren't they? AI's taken over everything. Yeah. See, uh, already. Tim Paul hats on. Oh. <laughs> hats on. Right. So right now, I think oh, it's like picking up Channel Five. <laughs> GPT. This is a midnight movie. Um, Chat GPT four is currently open source, right? Or it's 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 open, like they want to democratize AI. I don't understand because Bing also bought them. Right. Microsoft bought them for Bing. Did they buy the rights to use ChatGPT3 in their search system? Yeah, maybe it's more like a partnership than a acquiring. Because the only way to get GPT-4 at the moment is to go pro on the... I mean, also, Microsoft may own the company, but they're still operating as an independent company that, yeah. that then pays right. their dues. <clears throat> anyway. Anyway, yeah, pedantic. So... Uh, so essentially, um, at the moment, there seems to be an arms race of AI. I don't mm -hmm. think that it's hard to um, deny that between companies, between probably, well, probably not governments, because let's be honest, can you imagine the UK government right now having a robust AI uh, legislative framework in place? They would just use it to stay in power. 
Right. What, but, I, but I mean, what I'm saying is, can you... If there's anything go, go, like government, track and trace. If the only legitimate body that could govern something like AI would be a democratically elected group of individuals. For us, the most likely form of that is probably our governments, right? Governments would then have to set up something that would have informed people capable of understanding what the hell's going on in order to say, hey, maybe the AI shouldn't be allowed to do this because this could happen. And that's kind of what's happened in this open letter, right? Some some big thinkers have come together. Um, there's been an open letter published by sort of both individuals, people like the Woz from Apple, um, Elon Musk. Oh, Steve um, Wozniak. Yeah, Steve Wozniak. Um, the but there's, Woz. there's also been some like uh, think tanks and people like that who uh, are fairly informed, hopefully, um, and giving an opinion that saying that we should pause advanced AI development for six months to kind of take a breath to understand what's going oh, on, right, okay. see who's doing what. Equally, that just in general, we should be careful with AI, which is what you're saying. The problem, and this is where the Tim Four hat comes in, right? It's firmly on right now. <clears throat> this idea of holy shit, we should stop. We should con we should control this expansion. We should we should take stock of it, right? It does open the door for companies and governments and organisations to take AI technology private, in house and behind closed doors, right? So, in that case, you then get governments, companies, and individuals with an unfair advantage over other people that don't have AIs, right? The option, the, the, the fear and the way that they're pitching this is the open AI, or rather unchecked AI, um, is, is going to become problematic. But the problem I think comes from, you know, people behind closed doors developing AIs that other people don't have access from, right? They, they become, um, inequality engines much like um other parts of our society in terms of like money and access to money and property and all that sort of stuff but like i think there is a legitimate concern of once companies or once governments or once regulatory bodies take ai control uh, or control over ai development and it's no longer open source and no longer available to everybody is that not almost as much of a risk as letting it stay open and perhaps more democratized with all of us as informed as possible um big question mm. i think i put my tinfoil hat a bit too tight right okay so i'm losing sight yeah, yeah i think six months yeah a lot can happen technology wise sure. yeah um i think private companies are going to make private ai anyway I don't think you can really stop that, even if you put in like government legislation and all. Well, that you shit. could put laws in, so they would be breaking the law if they did it. To do so, yeah, true. Mm -hmm. What example of them using it in in what context do you think is more worrying? Because the the examples of AI that we've seen most prominently are like art AI, like like AI to do with art, and obviously mm -hmm. now with Chat GPT and like writing. I think misinformation and, is a big one. <clears throat> but like, like you, right now, you can't really, really trust it when you put something That's in it and it gets stuff wrong. You know, it feels a bit like a magic eight ball. I think the problem because, is like you know, when companies that were will like grow a larger penis, and it's just like, well, statistically no, and it's just like, ah, oh, well, that can't be, that can't be true. <laughs> it's, it's like, no, I won't, I don't believe it. I'll go to a different AI, well, that's a better one. Hubris, I guess. Yeah. To believe it or not, but sure. I think if the problem is when like legitimate companies that previously researched in like journalism, for example, if they start sourcing their information from AI and not doing the proper checks to see if that information is legitimate, that goes to a person that previously thought that they were a legitimate source that did their thorough research and is now using AI to do so. It so becomes, like a dilution of knowledge. Yeah, and misinformation is, is the worry, isn't it? Mm. It's already happening anyway without see AI. that Pope picture? Yeah, with the puffy coat. that big jacket. And then looking, it came out. Looking, it looks pretty good. The thing is, good. like, that's like... I think he should wear that jacket, although he's ill right now. Maybe you should keep it on. I'm not so worried about that sort of stuff because, <laughs> well, that, I mean that image. That's just going to come into the because obviously they've used uh, AI for people's voices. Have you seen the Kanye West one where they've just used his voice to replace? This, sorry, this is all media creation. AI can this be used to, yeah. you know, Data. read financial markets. Yeah. It can it can be used to prioritize and change the way the healthcare is distributed. Like the, the AI is, is kind of have more of an effect beyond, you know, uh, necessarily course, large yeah. language ones, uh, things like mid journey for image creation. Right. Like those are all valid points as well. Yeah. But there's a they're, bigger they're picture. They're the most prominent here. things we're seeing lately. Yeah, AI being put into smart weapons, 
weapons, you know, like explosive drones that can identify their own target within a crowd. So, you know, you could have a crowded place and then a drone would just fly down and pop somebody, you know, and then disappear again. Like that, we, we talk, you're talking a, a lot, you, we're talking more than fake images and yeah. text. Like what does Bing correct. use it for? As in like, what if, if you were to use the facility of ChatGPT within Bing, what, what are you typing in? It's As in you would type in what you would type into ChatGPT. It's like more, conv it's like Ask Jeeves. Yeah how you dreamt Ask Jeeves would be. You, like, you have a conversation with him and you can do follow-up information about it. So you can be like, okay, what's like a really good meal for me to have if I'm like gluten intolerant and I'm trying to like give a peanut allergy kid like a nice lunch, yeah. what would you give so to So rather me? than just shitting out a lot of websites, be like, I might give you that. Hey, that sounds like a great idea. Um, for a kid of this age, I'd recommend this amount of like no nut blah blah blahs so it's a useful and breaks down the recipe basically. it understands the context of what yeah, you're yeah, saying yeah. gives you that information back in the correct context with proper like sentence structure mm -hmm. and, and then you can also be like oh can you remove that from it mm -hmm. i don't want the, those chia seeds or whatever in this recipe mm -hmm. and they're like sure yeah so i'll do that again without chia seeds in it it's going to change the flavor a little bit so we'll add these in instead what mm -hmm. do you think about this it's like very conversational very believable but when you like so I've seen some people do it, like Marquez Brownlee, who knows tech very well, um, did questions to an AI about like top five cameras in smartphones, for example. And then it spat back like, yeah, based on like current markets, these are like the top five cameras based on like, and it gave detailed stats next to each camera. It was like 10 megapixel Samsung, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, that's wrong. That's not yeah. 10 megapixel. That's actually 20 megapixel. So it's just like yeah. giving you information that looks really, about it now. really Still. believable, but it's not, it's just like formatting information that it hasn't checked itself. One mm. final thing. I know this isn't hypothetical yet, but this is the other one that I thought of that was, I think, slightly different to the media creation and answers-based information. Um, <clears throat> drug discovery should be sped up significantly by AI. New drug discovery in terms of developing um, anything from the base molecular structure of a drug, creating analogs for drugs that already exist to processing like time consuming. larger data sets yeah, the, yeah. The, you know testing and things like that looking at large data sets from all over the world to better um, understand the effects or effectiveness of a drug the side effects all of these things can be supercharged by an AI if that becomes the private property of a company for specific, specifically the uh, as we all know virtuous pharma companies out there the giants we are essentially handing them an even greater tool of of power, right? How do we know they're not already using that? Well, they are, but this is what I'm saying about how if you take it behind closed doors and privatize it, um, that and de-democratize it, you are just making it easier for them to 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 be more powerful. I think I think that's the thing. It's about shifting of power, and then one day they develop a drug that gives you an extra year of life, and you have to pay for that drug every year until you can't afford to and you die and ultimately you've just synthesized years of life and you've turned you've monetized the human existence like th that's the kind of thing that's around the corner um and i just feel like scaring people a little bit because <laughs> i have to wander around with it in my head so now so do you that's all splurged out there yeah it's definitely a worry i think there's a lot of stuff that's probably already happening that isn't like the current fad on the internet like gpt mm. that's uh, a lot more nefarious and i think as the usual scenes. they're excellent distractions from what the true impact or the true cost is i think so like the whole pope puffy coat thing is because mm. surely it would not have like that lottery effect of if everyone like like if for example if you're oh wanted to use it for stock markets whatever and it's suggesting like the specific ones everyone's using it at the same time it suggests the same one everyone puts it into the same thing and it's like and therefore it doesn't there's work. no benefit because yeah. everyone's on the same thing it's <clears> just like I don't know. It seems skeptical right now, but obviously it's it's early days. And yeah. also, like, I think it's good. Who, I think it's who owns good that? Questions. Good who owns that stock AI? Yeah. And are they manipulating mm. the results so that you invest in certain stock that's mm. been lobbied into that? Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Where's the data set coming exactly, from? Exactly. Like, <laughs> that's the problem. The legitimacy of that data set is important. And no one's going to source every bit. Of, like that's the point of AI is mm. to like cut those corners and let it do the research for you and just give you the results you need there and then um no one's going to go out of their way to be like let's double check that actually came from the correct source and is the correct thing and you can see it it soon falls apart when someone actually does that research yeah so 
interesting it's interesting and it's exciting hopefully it'll lead to some some systemic hope a little tribal brain change keep that up. we need yeah i you know i think it is what potentially one of those disrupting technologies that may actually have a positive effect long term might speed things up i mean that's what technology does right speeds speeds up our glory and our demise <laughs> yeah like that tim urban podcast yeah, thing yeah we're talking there. about yeah we're one step closer to nuking ourselves but we're also one step closer to having clean nuclear energy that helps us remove climate change it's just about what the fuck happens when you have both of those options yeah, yeah. Well, we're one one step closer to never retiring yeah 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 as in oh, yeah. once it cata catalogs our entire conversation base on our on our youtube channel mm. It could just repeat all the questions, the same jokes we repeat anyway. Hey, we've got this great model for your YouTube channel. Do you want yeah. to say a dick joke? Yes. Yes. yes hey, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> My dick gets bigger, right? Uh, it's going to keep yeah. going. It's it doesn't bigger. stop yet. Always. It's yeah. like that Seinfeld Twitch thing. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Yeah. It would just be us, though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, like, yeah, it would yeah, just exactly. be uh, like, it'd be the easiest thing to replicate. Like I said, the Kanye West thing was impressive. Like, basically, just a, it just sounds like his voice. And they just rat do a little yeah. uh, a few bars and then they replace it with this ai and it sounds like he's just enough it's very impressive it's really fucking good i've seen the one with the presidents chatting to each other yeah, as well. yeah. it's gamers it's quite funny a Zoom obviously gamers. there's uh, you so can kind of tell it's a bit janky but like that's what it sounds like now so yeah. like in a couple of years god damn it but Biden. that makes you that again that, that backs up into the misinformation thing and you could probably just make someone say because if, if the president went on tv now and said there's a nuke about to hit a, you know a major place like immediately you would panic yeah but like, he, how much time does he have before he goes on legitimately goes, oh, it's just an AI thing. Honestly, d d don't panic. It was, oh, oh man. You know, I think that's very Some people might have already to gone happen. to the ocean and blown their brains out. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you don't know. Yeah. You may have already told, <laughs> I don't know why you told the, all your family. That wasn't my, that's not my plan. That's not my plan. <laughs> hey, is that my whole family? <laughs> the nukes are coming. I'm going to the ocean to blow my brains Just so you know, I spent the last six years putting progressively larger cucumbers up my ass. <laughs> oh, I got, you, had, you had to know. I had to switch to marrows. <laughs> marrows. I've sent you all emails with photographs <laughs> anyway it doesn't matter now beep yeah <laughs> wait i just saw the news update uh just can, forget don't open yeah. those emails don't <laughs> <laughs> but i'm just saying like that you know it doesn't would it wouldn't you know take much to cause chaos no i think uh yeah i really hope it doesn't happen because like, yeah, like, like that would be such a uh, horrible yeah. day a, quite a window into like what how, yeah i mean didn't, they did something similar in um well i don't know if they did well they did they did use nixon in um die hard 4 do you remember was it all die, die hard 4 was is that the one with the about, helicopter where he drove a bike into a helicopter i think so i can't remember um which one is specifically but it was basically where they took control of like, all the traffic lights they then sent out a news broadcast with um nixon on it like it was it was more about obviously terrorism threats and stuff not necessarily nixon. you know nukes but like what yeah nixon? so they just oh, manipulated his voice and stuff well it wasn't that's that's why it was weird it was just, they were, oh, just, they were right. just scaring the shit out of people but like doing an anonymous that thing. idea of just you know taking control of that stuff it doesn't seem far-fetched but then when you watch the film they really do some stupid shit with oh, it. Like, there's course, somehow there's course, a hacker so yeah. that can blow up the street by like yeah it's like blow up that street that's still a film <laughs> it's just like who put the bomb oh, i was there? a whole bunch of presents okay but yeah, okay. yeah still yeah it, it it's scary i I mean, needless to say, if you're ever the person to create a nationwide nuclear scare like that, the, the entire weight of the UK justice system will find that person, I imagine, and because people will just want to kill that person, won't they? Ima imagine how angry people would be if you knew who did it. I mean, I guess it's like knowing that the Russians caused Brexit. Might, maybe the Russians are getting responsible for this as well. And you're like, oh, What are you fuck. really going to do about it? Exactly. You read a newspaper and be like, oh, what the fuck? Well, no, because you would have been a victim of it. Well, you, yeah. you would have had that moment where you thought you were going to die in a fire nuclear apocalypse. And I think that would incite you to be pretty fucking pissed off at the person that did it. So, oh, a bit more yeah, someone said it happened in Hawaii at that time with the warning. Was that a hair? No, was it? I, I thought it was I don't just know if, a, I don't the emergency thing. That was an error. That yeah, was an error right, yeah, yeah, wrong. yeah. But obviously yeah. everyone got the alerts to their phones. Obviously recently they've said, yeah. I thought we already had that system Act, like accessible in the UK but apparently they've only really just activated like something where US has it a lot it will send you yeah US has mm -hmm. it for like missing kids and stuff yeah. right so if it'll be like I'm there's a missing kid UK in the area like have. look out for them yeah which kind of makes sense I'm like oh it's you yeah hang on <laughs> another one <laughs> oh. <laughs> they're still popular <laughs> they're still trying they're still trying uh um, but we apparently yeah we didn't have that warning system active until like well I don't know if it's still as active yet maybe they have to vote on it I don't know yeah. UK had to buy that extra Amber Apple alerts, package 
Yeah, they have to buy the bolt on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, they the are bolt. actually testing it. I mean, I so somebody I spoke to. If recently, there was a hurricane, I'd be like, I'd like to know. Was like really worried about it. Yeah, well, this is the thing. He, the, well, this is what somebody. Solar I flare said. incoming. What do I do? The thing is, like, met, they're, they're saying duck. it's for hurricane and and flood. And to be honest, you know, those things are happening more with climate change, so it very well might be. But the other thing, you know, is you know nuclear warnings, you know, bomb threat warnings, things like that. I want a Hinkley point. Uh, little widget on my yeah it's a sign screen. of a more uncertain time Safe. isn't it really it is it's a sign of a more uncertain and more yeah. scary time yeah which is shit yeah, because you feel like we should be pretty amazing it is yeah. great it, like it's a useful thing but it's only necessary because of how uncertain yeah. your existence is i mean of course, of course. everyone's natural everyone, disasters is yeah. where it kind of like earthquake warnings and yeah, yeah, like that's yeah. where it comes into play right like right now and across the you know in other countries we obviously you know don't have many issues with weather in that extreme level. Maybe sometimes not, a bit, yeah, not yet. Bit of snow. So well, f- watch the birds. Slippy. There's black ice. Oh, if, really? if you're ever in a country with earthquakes, if the birds all start going fucking crazy, the dogs barking. Get out into open the ground. The dogs know before. Yeah, I mean, not lots of animals do. Yeah, yeah you can you can read. You can they read just it. stare into space, and you know that sometimes they're, they're doing shit. Like how often? How do you, do you trust? Tr- do you trust the dog that would eat its own shit? Or they say yeah. Murphy, Murphy almost ate a fucking dollop. You know, a fresh. Oh, oh shit. nice yeah. big. Nugget. Almost, I was like, oh fuck no, <laughs> panic. Moose. He rushed to it. He's ah, yes, please. hungry eyes. I need like, some of that burger. No. <laughs> Luckily, no. But normally, oh, normally you kiss? Like, <laughs> no. But this was a real dollop, and I was like, yeah. oh. Alsatian Fuck yeah. Real German I shepherd. gave the police A good old stare When they walked down The fucking road With their horses Why Because they just did A big old shit and it's just Oh like, it was a horse shit Get off your horse And pick it up Like I would have to yeah. Get a carrier back Or a big You wouldn't have, have to a lot. You wouldn't have to clean up I know Some of it was your own horse Maybe you shouldn't be so poor Get a horse not a dog Loser Fair um, <laughs> What if I ride him like a horse <laughs> Well Where's the line Riddle me that Where's the line We'll see you in court um, Is there a hypothetical We can cover Oh, yeah. oh there is yes. As voted on by our Wonderful patrons Slash one members here? Slash twitch subscribers Thank you um, So yeah Number one Which is all again From our uh, Email Thank Hatch you Thanks for com. sending those in Some have been put Here back it in it's, it's coming up It's about to happen Number one Uno Aruno From Charlotte <laughs> Here it is uh, Okay you enter a talent contest But you must use A new talent You don't currently possess You have 24 hours To learn a new talent With the goal of winning the contest What talent do you choose uh, So you, I guess you have to choose Something that's not So we, we don't, to we'd have to choose hours. I think the easiest way to do this Is to choose for each other Because like uh, All I can think of is things dancing. that I might be able. Oh God! Twenty-four I've chosen hours. tap dancing for Smith. Oh my Twenty-four God! Twenty-four hours to be able to do a tap t- t- recital and win. It's a good thing for size Dead because he would be rolling in his grave looking at this. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at me, Brucey. It's an extremely hard thing to learn. <laughs> I feel like twenty-four hours is not enough. Yeah, but you got to do it like Michael Flatley style as well. You got a whole line dance. Yeah. You got to keep up with. I think I'd have better chance of that than doing proper tap. Oh, forgive yeah, me. Like the whole line could. Knock over Domino style because of you. Oh, so I've got other people doing it like, in the line. We're all linked, linked up. My arms, oh, yeah. God. And you got to do the whole like above the head kicks and stuff. Okay. 24 okay. hours. All right. So I'll take tap dancing. Nice. What was the actual question? Like, well, which, which uh, would it, it be? Says which what talent, talent would you choose that you, that you have to learn in 24 hours? Yeah, you don't have the talent. Yeah. Anymore. I've never been taught dancing. I'm not very good at it. Um, and I'm quite uncoordinated. But you I'd be up for it. The thing is, you might put on a good show regardless. Like, it might quite, yeah. be quite funny as a humorous yeah. endeavor. Yeah. I think all the things. So he said 24 hours to learn. And it's like, oh, here we go. Okay, Ross. Oh, look, he's awful. Flower arranging. Oh, God. my mum used to do flower arranging. I mean, but as a talent contest, that's not a talent contest. Yeah, why not? I like the. What do I do? Go in there with a load of loose flowers and just start putting them into those little like foam bricks. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that sound as well. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I that stuff was great. I wanted to bite that yeah. shit. Yeah, you, yeah, oh, yeah, you yeah. don't. It crumbles it's off horrible. into your mouth. Like, oh, so you've done it. Wow. I think I, I don't think I should. I should no, say no, 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 no. <laughs> don't do it. No, but you, <laughs> that's good chocolate. It. It's nice to thumb because it's like, sh- yeah, yeah, yeah. It like, squeezes all like, but the dust comes off everywhere and it's because your eyes and stuff. It's awful. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. satisfying it to crumb. cut it with a really sharp it's, knife. Yeah. It's funny that, you know, that flower arranging is okay, not a talent. Okay, so not flower arranging. Not talent for a, for okay. a show. Bear in mind, this has got to be entertaining, right? Like, okay. flower arranging, sure, once it's done, it's nice, lovely. Oh, I'd like you to cool. be. Uh, what a lovely wreath you've got. A show jumper. Yeah, it's this guy's going die on stage. <laughs> horse show jumper. Horse show jumper. Okay, that's. I was I'm dangerous. Gonna die on a horse. <laughs> I'm about to die on a horse, guys. I reckon you should be the assistant to a magician. Oh. 
who's throwing knives oh, and doing other crazy God. shit. Oh, God. Like got to do firing and... But the talent isn't on me there because I'm basically just a pawn. All right, you be the knife thrower. I'd have to be the knife thrower. <laughs> okay. You're the knife thrower. The knife thrower, that's the tricky part. Yeah. yeah. Because, yeah, the coordination involved in that. I'm used to play darts, so I'm not, I, sometimes I miss the board. And Murphy's the one on the board. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they're real knives. Getting him to stay still. Like you have to be go hard. to the judges and show your knives to them. Yeah, these are real knives. Look, I'll start cutting <laughs> fucking cucumbers <laughs> with it. Look, Maybe that's the thing. You, you come in oh, doing the, the flower arrangement and you got the green oh, thing right, and you're like, these are real, look. And you cut the green thing ah. and you throw it to the side. Then reveal behind a curtain yeah. your dog rotating, yeah. <laughs> slowly rotating on a, on a wheel. I'll like, show how sharp it is by cutting a, what is it, like a, what do you cut? Like phone books. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like cut his butter. nails. There we go, straight down. There we go, really sharp. And thunk. Ah, he's dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, 24 hours. And 24 hours, guys. <laughs> then you walk away crying. Now, who's, who's really the victim here? You all had to witness a dog die on stage. That's so what's Trot going to do for his? I was thinking like lion taming or something. That's what you want to do. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. This is but what other people got to suggest. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, um, Not lion taming. Sword swallowing? Something really <laughs> funny. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I don't understand sword swallowing to the degree that I think that they literally just get it down there. Yeah, they, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They just, yeah. They just have... They've trained themselves. Do they install something to help... There's a certain... Slide it down like, there, or...? You know, no, I don't think like, so. Oh, is there like a, like, a, like a shield thing in there? Yeah, yeah, I I'm think it's... Sure it's no, no, I think they just put it down their esophagus carefully. And they're just like, ah, huh? ah. So if you yeah. pushed him up <laughs> midway... Yeah. He's fucked. Yeah. Yeah, ah, ah. yeah he yeah. shouldn't do that. It's, like, it's gone through yeah. his stomach. Oh, they, they swallow a sheath first. Do they, though? And right. then they put the sword into the sheath. That sounds fun. So they're wandering around like, oh, God, you're ready to go. <laughs> Just desperately not trying to gag. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I've, I've got a don't hold. Oh. So, yeah, Dermot pats him on the back. Oh. God, don't, oh. don't, oh. Oh. Dermot, you bitch. <laughs> Dermot, no. I'm on the hair trigger. The, the whole talent show is just dry heaving oh, up no. a sheath. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dermot, <laughs> I need uh, that's on all fours. Dermot O'Leary comes in, looking like he's had yet another heavy night. Yeah. The man for pe a perpetual heavy night. Okay. All right. So um, there's actually a few acts that are taking a bit longer. Yeah. So it's going to be an extra yeah. half hour. Is that all right? <laughs> some was yeah, right. I need some barbecue tongs. Oh, that's that. He's trying to pull it out with barbecue tongs. Oh, push it deeper. <laughs> Dermot, get in there. <laughs> I'm not trained for this. Okay. No. That so sounds fucking horrible. Though. I'd, like, I'd like to know the secrets behind it, but also kind of think that. There's, that's fucked. Yeah. How do you think you'd fare it's on a unicycle? I reckon I could do it. Yeah. On a slackline. <laughs> Fuck. <that. laughs> Twenty-four <laughs> hours. A slackline <laughs> unicycle above, like, literally just Fire. a bed of Lego. <laughs> no, Lego. Okay, Lego. So there's Lego Worse. everywhere, and you are literally just in pants. So Ross, <laughs> so he's gonna roll onto Lego. That's that's. I shit. came up pretty light with none of the tap dance here. Ross is either gonna kill himself on a horse yeah. or accidentally kill his dog with a knife. Yeah, you are gonna kill yourself on a unicycle, and I'm just gonna learn he tap dance. He won't die. He'll just have an extremely painful oh, time. Lego Imagine man. falling like from well, a height. Falls How high though. should he be? Two foot, three, three foot up, nine foot, top of two ladders. Really high. Yeah, yeah. So the landing would hurt him more. And it's, he lands, more about, he lands it's more about the fact that he, it, it's going to be I think the entire stage needs to be filled with Lego so you, like, oh even getting God. off you're like ah, ah, it's just the sounds of him writhing around on a oh. bed of like lots of Lego yeah Brin's Fuck got that. talent's budget wouldn't stretch to that much Lego needle no, gargler it'll, it'll be off brand, off -brand is, ne is needle gargling like the 2023 version needle of sword gargling. swabbling so you get a load uh, of hypodermic needles and gargle them. What about the, hot, uh, what about the walking on hot coals? That's pretty... Is that yeah, a talent? Would you, that, that's, that's a trick. What yeah. talents have won like Britain's Got Talent? It's normally like group dancing and stuff, right? Yes, it is, yeah. And they have like colourful LEDs and the lights go out and they all look like robots. So what about like a one-man kind of like like Green Man style show? So you're in a... That, that doesn't sound as fun. Like Blue Man group style. Maybe. But yeah, I think you can, you can nail that. Sweet. I think I'll be quite good at that. Smith, I think you it should um, try and pull increasingly heavier objects with your ball bag on stage. <laughs> wow, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and each time, it's a record. How are you waiting from one, so one cut to the other side? I'm curious, how are you clamping on it? Are you clamping it around the base so you're like, there's a rope, a tether? I'll tell you exactly. Or how are you, are you yeah. using each cherry as a... Have you seen those... Um, what they call the uh, what do they call them in the gym where you like hold them by the handle at the top and they're like there's the weight is beneath they're called something pendulum um, a pendulum oh swing. kettlebells 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 yeah. so I'd find a kettlebell with a small enough handle that I could just <laughs> push my nuts through just about <laughs> sideways so they go in sideways Another and then when they're on the other side I turn them like a nut locking yeah. like nut <laughs> and then and then I pull that way so the weight is is literally pulled by the strength 
You're going to tear your skin. Yes. Well, this is what's exciting though, because each time I do an, a new show, it's not exciting. It's yeah. a it's a gr- it's a newer weight. So every oh. time you go, you're like, this might be the day that his balls come off. <laughs> well, when the, <laughs> well, some um, of the, what about like when the strong men pull like planes? It should be that, but like maybe like a bike plane. Yeah, something smaller. Well, I would let me start with a kettlebell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me, I'm worried ease about a kettlebell. Up. Yeah, 24 hours. To be fair, let's yeah. ease them into it. Like that's start still going to be a quiet thing. Yeah. And obviously, the... if it goes wrong, it goes really wrong. Yeah, oh, that's what? a real breaker. Nuts. A we should nut have a, a microphone like, what, on the nuts. What amperage battery can I take to the balls? <laughs> like before, oh, I you're just going to keep ramping it up on stage. Then you get to a truck battery. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to go up a little bit. Like, ah! That's what the judges are going to say. It's like, this is great, but it's kind of like a one-trick pony. Like, what are you going to do to like no, no, no. excite the and audience? Also, it's always more amps, <laughs> I'll say. Truck battery. How do, they, do you get someone to come on stage to prove that you're balls? Yeah. You I get Simon Cow to come out and I slap him in the face with him. He's like, yeah. They're real. They're Unlike real. Unlike any part of your face, Simon. Wow. Simon's like an excited Why are they puppies? so loose that you can throw them around? <laughs> I'm already like I'm already like eight or nine weeks yeah, down. Yeah, you've been practicing point. for 24 hours, and I've got like a ream of like you yeah. know like taffy. His ball bag is black and blue already. <laughs> I wrap it around my neck like an X-Men. Yeah, he's choking. X-Men. He's choking himself with his bollocks. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, it's like a a luxury sure. scarf. It's like a beef jerky scarf. Well, that, this sounds like a great talent. It's like when you see those people who, for some reason, have grown their nails really long. You know oh, what? Well, no, I know. Yeah. Well, just How like, do they get on? Like, that's fucking life. disgusting. Well, they're always in the Guinness that's World Records. That's such a shit. Like you get nothing for yeah. winning a Guinness World Record, right? So no. like they have spent years of their life growing these nails, is. which curl round. They're not. How are they using a phone? They no, don't. They're not. How are they opening the handle of a car? And How do they drive? Disgusting. They don't. They are literally incapacitating their life by yeah. having these ugly, long... Well, when you've got cr- no the talent... Crazy nails. It's the last bastion of a talentless person, Who right? Who needs a talent, though? Just continue you to need do a what talent. You, do. you need to live your life yeah. and enjoy yourself. No, no, but that's it. That's crazy. But they don't get fulfillment from anything it's else. Hor- they look horrible as it's well. It's rough. They, they look, look disgusting. Stop they're like yeah. idolizing nail growers. No one's idolizing <laughs> That's what I was saying. That's my message. I want to see... There needs to be a documentary on like up-and-coming like nail growers. Like, the, yeah. the, the, no, because you're idolizing them. This is exactly what we don't need. I want to see them. the people that have like said, "Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. One day I'll be in ten years' time. I'll get them just as long as that lady who's won yeah. the Guinness World Record. She'll be dead by then." It's like, the problem yeah, is the cares? host always says the interviewer's like, "Wow, yeah, well, good luck." What they need to be saying is, "No, that's fucking disgusting. Don't do yes, it." Yes, this is it. Yeah, like, stop it. Needs to be Louis Theroux being patronizing to them. Yeah. Being like, <laughs> also, it's but you can't. So, okay, so uh, yeah, hands a mechanic coat. Like, ah, oh, oh um, was that difficult? Oh, did you want me to open it for you? I mean. Can yeah. you not open like a can of Coke? Life. Once uh, upon a time, we didn't even have thumbs. Here you go. Why don't you butter this bread? It's like, it basically just gives them a load of tasks. In fact, I want to see this as a Bush Tucker trial style um, yeah. series. This is the documentary. The documentary is Growing not a documentary. Nails. It's a game show. Right. It's always a game show. It's only with people who have incapacitated their lives with mm. stupid Guinness <laughs> World Records. Yeah. So they go but on. Haven't won you the give them like, yet. and go, uh, and you get, okay, uh, someone from the crowd, uh, yeah, come down. And they, uh, butter this bread for us. Okay, brilliant. Oh, done. Seconds. And the person <laughs> with the longest nails in the world, butter this bread. Oh, sh- oh fuck. Okay. Okay, um, and then laugh track grabs it with their mouth and yeah everyone's Can't laughing like ah, ah you've done this to yourself but ask, someone comes on and snips them the long the <laughs> if they can't do the challenge they get snipped they get snipped I couldn't butter bread but they could also roast Decades meat they flows. could roast meat over a fire though couldn't they oh they sound, yeah, yeah yeah stick a load of yeah. fucking Viewers. yeah stick a load of chicken fillets on the end oh. who wants a kebab <laughs> oh lovely is it the nails oh, have you, oh god have you washed those do you wash them do, do they put them in, them in a bath no they're fucking disgusting they're disgusting people <laughs> they're disgusting people if we can get in touch with anyone who has the longest nails or long nails they're going for it yeah. I want to meet them yeah. to see them and then kind of just never meet them again how do you feel that, about like people that really grow their hair out long well, that's not as crazy. That's not. Are as they crazy. taking care of it? I yeah, I imagine they would. It ta- like hair can like start getting f- fucking fucked up if the longer you grow it, right? I think if you grow it without, I think uh, again, this comes down to <clears throat> that's not that's just not bad. Take better care of yourself. Like I think yeah, with the long not hair, as bad as the nail exactly. Thing. The you long can, hair you can is not tie as bad. It up, wrap it up, put it somewhere. Like yeah, the nail thing is external it's open it's you can't do shit no you can't yeah. if someone dro- if you you know drop dead in front of them, or you fall in front of them they can't help you <laughs> they're not helping anyone <laughs> the they're clatter. useless in society they do they have a job i don't know maybe they do maybe they just pose with people that could be a job if you gra- you got to grow your nails for 5 years or you get your t- your tongue cut into a double tongue double tongue you would you would double tongue yeah. How how long would they grow in five years? Right, that's, not, year. that's not legal in this country, apparently. But one yeah. year of Is nails it? for double time. 
Uh, I'd try the one year of nails. Yeah, I think so, right? Because one year of nails, although it would be really shit, and yeah. they would break naturally because I would use my hands. Like You're normal. gonna be like doing like like you know like dogs and cats and things do to keep their nails down. You're like <sighs> I'm cheating the system. Yeah, I'm just scraping a wall. I'm just <laughs> dragging them on pavement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean that, it would be tough. Yeah, and it would just be disgusting. I don't think a year. Would and be it would yeah, I think dead. it would affect relationships with people. Yeah. No? Certainly I certainly changed my relationship with my asshole. He certainly would. <laughs> He's digging. Plunge, plunge, plunge. Ah! Cut, cut, cut. Good Showering on. would be a whole different experience. How do they shower? <laughs> they don't. And they just turn it on, kind of like. What do you mean? They. Oh, yeah. The yeah. nails. Have you seen yeah. them? Have you yeah. seen how long yeah, they are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They curl I, around, they they're like long, they're like. like and they don't want to break them. They're not trying to yeah. break them. Ugh, they're gross. making sure that there is. There is there's so much weight so on the, the cuticle. Are their hands always like in crooked, kind of like shapes? Apparently, yeah. Apparently, it can really seize up your hands because you have to hold them in a certain way the whole time. Just Otherwise, like, you. Oh, that's. And, ah, it's catching on the handle! No, uh, yeah. I don't think they can even go palms up. Like, you're doing a lot of palms up. Gesticulation yeah, yeah, yeah. here. I reckon it's all like this. They're Palms all like, down. like in a creepy movie. Yeah. Palms down. Yeah. That's not the way to live your life. That's the way we like right. to fuck. So, <laughs> Palms down. Uh, uh, they're not fucking. No one's fucking. Nobody. But maybe that's a kink. Maybe the Guinness Book I of really Records. I really want to fuck the one like, with the longest nails. Or maybe they like fucking each other and hearing the clashing of their nails. Ah. <laughs> like deer rushing. You know what? ASMR. They, they could have an ASMR job. What? Someone has to set up everything for them, but they can clickety clack around just dragging them on various objects that are. Pretty much on the floor. Kind of gross. It's gross as There's hell. There's probably loads of Guinness World Records where it's just like they've debilitated themselves to a certain. Yeah, yeah. No, but that's that's a choice. That like, shouldn't be encouraged. Most amount of no. face piercings. Sure, yeah. but that's that, again, yeah, yeah. But that's Longest a choice. wait in airport. That's a choice strangely that's, held by the same guy. <laughs> I don't feel like that's as debilitating. I think the nail thing is is pretty what up there. Piercing their eyelids though, so it's like so much weight on their eyelids they can't see anymore. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Do you think it's worth tattooing dark like ink on the eyelids so you never have to wear a sleep mask on a plane? Yes. Wait, what do you mean? Your eyelids make them darker. Just black out. So that when you like... sleep, the light doesn't bother you as much. Blackout eyelids. Yeah. Blackout eyelids. For the rare times that that is applicable, <laughs> like every I'm night, I'm going to say. Yeah. If it was every night, I'd get blackout blinds or blackout curtains. There's solutions for that that don't involve yeah, but these damaging are always your skin. On, man. You to wear a mask. <laughs> when have you ever gone, oh, I wish I could see a bit more light through my eyelids? Well, that's a personal choice, isn't it? And ultimately, that is a personal choice. That's not just like a, well, oh, don't get blackout blinds. Do this. <laughs> <laughs> get <laughs> tattoos. tattooed black eyelids and forever. I mean, well, okay, that, would that even work? What if you put black eyeshadow on? Inject metal into the eyes instead. Nothing to do with the eyes. To, Nothing like, to do with the eyes. I would never. Unless you want to go blind, yeah. don't fuck with your eyes. I hate when people, like, you see people tattoo their eyes as well, get like a little whatever. On the whites. It's like, if you go blind, fuck you, that's your fault. For 10,000 <laughs> pounds. They'd be in your game show. Yeah. They would be on the game show, yeah. Would you have surgery on your nose that creates a constant, like, C sharp whistle? <laughs> no. For a year. I mean, musicians might find that useful, though, to have a certain key that they can oh, guarantee. Can just, sorry, but when you. <laughs> <laughs> when you do get old nose whistle, it's it's quite a magical moment. It's annoying as hell. I hate it. But and you're like, you're kind of like, hmm. you have to have I've got a little nose whistle going on, and you kind oh, of like embellish two notes. Yeah. Oh, like nice. a nice little harmony, and you have to wear it for a year. You could drill holes in the side of the nostril to give you like shift as well. You could do like shift. Do, do, yeah. do, do, like a recorder. Do, 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 that sounds kind of. I've crazy. got an ocarina for a nose. Do, 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 do. That's my talent. Ooh, ooh. You got there an ocarina for a nose. Ocarina nose. Okay. Well, we've got you've had that surgery one. to. Have in 24 ocarina. hours, you've had two holes drilled into your nose. And I can do the most major key songs. Anything you like. Yeah. As long as it's major key. He's going on stage, black and blue nose. He's ready to. Recently done this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry about the blood. <laughs> you, you'd be annoyed. Xylophone. <laughs> Xylophone teeth. Yeah. It's a one man band, but all the instruments are on your face. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know why I made the kick drum both my eyes. The cymbal earrings. Dun, dun, dun. I got huge plugs for drums in my ears. Fucking hell. Do, 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 do. Yeah, now these, that would be awful. So you know that they would say no to that immediately. They're, they're, they're yeah. all pressing their buzzers. They're like, well, I just fucking had surgery. <laughs> In 24 Fuck. hours, I had the most Imagine invasive that. facial surgery I possibly ever had in my life. Oh, I'm sorry, Amanda Holden. What have yeah. you actually done? She, what have you done to disfigure yourself? Oh, don't answer it. No. Well, she hasn't disfigured herself. She's enhanced herself. You oh, several times. Maureen, over. you've enhanced yourself. My, no. <laughs> Maureen, <laughs> you've, enhanced. you've enhanced yourself. Yeah. No, she doesn't look her age though. No, no, but that's her choice. Yeah. She hasn't done the fucking instrument thing to her nose. Why not? Which, to be fair, and she doesn't look like Madonna. 
Which is a win for anyone. No one looks like Madonna. Well, Madonna doesn't look like Madonna. Madonna doesn't look like Madonna. No one. Look, you're right. No one looks like Madonna. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Keith yeah. Lama might have a mask for it. He might do. But that would be look more like her as she is now. Yeah, as she so, is. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brutal. Really. Well, there you go. Hot takes okay. from us today. Um, that was a great hypothetical. Yeah, we went. Yeah, a lot of crazy ideas came out Charlotte. of that. And um, there's two other ones that I can put back into the rotation. Yeah. Thank you for sending Throw them, them in. in there. Yeah, I like taking hypotheticals from you guys because um, you guys fucked up. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. And, That's uh, good. We want, yeah, we want that. It's, there's so many like reused ones on the internet and I've been through them all now. So it's, it's good to get nice. some new unique ones from you guys. So send them in to our email, hatchat at hat-films.com or send in a fingle if you want, like uh, Hayden Oh, did, thanks, Hayden. Uh, with his band Mantis State. Get it right, it's Mantis State. Mantis and they've State. got an EP out called Into the Sun. It's on Spotify now, and we'll play one of the songs at the end. Yeah, and your Mantis State. Which but I really hope they don't claim it. I hope they don't claim it. I hope they have a publisher that's like a draconian... Because then they fuck us over. Yeah. Don't claim it, because... We'll which, be living in the didn't... Mantis State. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck the patriarchy. Yeah, we hope you're on your own label. It's it's private, otherwise we're f we could be fucked. Already fucked. So Sweet. That'll be fun. Hope you've enjoyed this podcast this week. Um, have a great week. We'll be back next week. And how many more times can I say week in the closing statement? I don't know. But week. you're sounding weak. Come on, guys. I got, yes. I got some instruments to lick off. Sick. Yeah. Ugh. Reed Thanks. Tucker. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for Trump. listening. See you next week. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Goodbye.